Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Here with us today, we are blessed with the presence of a true entrepreneur, yes, creator of Black Mama Vodka, and CEO of a multi-million dollar corporation. <laughs> yes. My cousin, Vanessa Braxton. Yes. How do you do? I'm good, Ms. Braxton. <laughs> So we all know that you all you started off as an engineer, a structural engineer. Uh, but now you are an entrepreneur of vodka, teas, cafes. Tell us, how did you get your start being an entrepreneur? Making liquor in college on campus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's keeping it all the way real. That's keeping it real. <laughs> right. I'm an engineer, so was, it's always been in my blood and my stream. My grandmother had a business. You know, I found out the other day that my great great grandfather had a distillery in. Um, Scotland, and I didn't even know. Wow! But, so, so it's in your DNA. Book. I yes. didn't know. That's wow. amazing. So that is indeed. Entrepreneurship <laughs> has always been. You know me. You, got, you know. Look, I have. They know. Let's tell. Let's tell right. the good people. Yeah, I've look had five jobs. You know, so we've always you know had a hustle. Mm -hmm. So entrepreneurship has always been a staple in my life to having freedom mm -hmm. and doing what you want to do yeah, in life, yeah, you yeah. know, and setting up wealth. Yes. Because that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to hold on to anybody else's dreams but my own. Yes. Exactly. Come on, God. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> so, so we hear all the time, go into business for yourself. Right. We, we heard all that you've done and all of, a lot of us have similar stories and we're just waiting for that thing to blow up. Mm -hmm. But it's got, it's hard. What yes, are some of the is. hardships that you face mm -hmm. after these five jobs going into the business for yourself? The hardest, I, I'm being really honest, I've always been in a male dominated industry mm -hmm. as a structural engineer and in construction and when you get into an industry such as liquor and manufacturing it's facing the people who don't believe that mm -hmm. you can actually do it. Yes. You know and also transitioning from work to full-time entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and ownership because mm -hmm. that's very important. Sometimes people don't know how to transition yeah. and you have to do that through time. Yes. You know, and patience. People don't have patience. So the, one of the hardest things was letting go that six-figure paycheck at work, retiring, and then finding a way to budget and manage an entire household and the business mm -hmm. because your business becomes your baby. Yes. You know, and yes. that's an infant in its itself. Yeah. So it's very hard when doing that, you know, all along. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you talked about just letting go and, and, and finding that courage to say, you know what, although this is six figures, I know there's more on the other side. Mm, and there's absolutely. not a lot of people who really will step out on faith and do that. More. It's Ooh. called seven and eight figures, baby. Yes. <laughs> But but that's what you give them some tips for that person that's at home who Absolutely. has an amazing um, uh, idea or concept, but they're just so fearful to uh, jumping out there and, yeah. and, and starting that uh, entrepreneur. Well, journey. the biggest thing about entrepreneurship is capital. Mm -hmm. okay. I was fortunate enough; I had a 401k. But even so, with starting the business, <coughs> it propelled the other ways. So look at non-traditional ways of raising capital. Yeah. People haven't known that. Obama signed into law the Jobs Act, the 2012 Jobs Act. All of us here, I can raise two, I raised 2.1 million just in December mm -hmm. for Black Mama Tea's Cafes. I can raise a million dollars for you, 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 I'll you. take that. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, the whole right. we need a lot. So that's one of the <laughs> things that you can do. And the other thing is scaling your business. And what does that when, mean? Well, scaling your business is, for example, growing it to an exponential growth so everybody can share in the pot. Mm -hmm. You want full-time growth, just yeah. like anything else. You don't want to stay small. You want it to be big, yeah. so that way you can make big money. Yes, you and know? ownership is key. Own, let me tell you, I always say to people, own your own-ish, mm -hmm. because when you own your own stuff, you have the freedom to do what you want to do. I own my own properties, my own equipment, my own patents, my own. So who's going to tell me what? Yes. So no. that's where you're in control. Accountant and insurer. That's it's my. A go. Sorry that's for interrupting. No, yes. but that's my insurance team. Before you do anything, always talk to an accountant, your attorney, and get insurance mm -hmm. before you get a logo. People are doing things backwards. Wow. That's your insurance team. That's your team members to help you with your business from here on in. Wow. wow. That's real good, Vanessa. Wow. That is what? good. Tell us about building generational wealth. That's the thing. When you start getting into the seven and eight figures, and I know, so eight figures. <laughs> one of your <laughs> Right, thank God. One of the things you want to do is set up uh, generational wealth and everybody's talking about generational wealth well that's been there with a family office I have a family office which can transition into the succession of wealth to your children mm -hmm. or 20 years 20 generations it was started by Rockefeller in 1880s 
too. Yes. So we can all do that. Yes. Well, we are doing it. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, the Braxton family values is very thick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so okay. much, Vanessa. Okay. For, being okay. with us today. for more information on what Vanessa's doing mm -hmm. and to find out about Black Mama Tees, you can go to blackmamatees.com and I will tell you, it's very good. It is.